Have you noticed no one's buying stocks, folks? It's a little soft out there. What's the problem? Our fear's overblown. What's got you down? Why can't people start putting a bid in and buying things like the worth at the beginning of this year? Todd Schoenberg is here to discuss. He's with the Black Bay Group. Why aren't people buying stocks, Todd? Well, it's after the election, and it's President Obama. That's why people aren't buying stocks, because we all know, traders, investors, the smart guys in the room know that we're going over this fiscal cliff. We are jumping off of this thing without a parachute, Jeff, because nothing happened before the election, the same composition of Congress is there, and nothing's going to happen Hold on after. there, Sailor, though. The smart guys in the room should have known that President Obama was going to be President Obama for the next four years. Romney never Led. I don't care what the gallop was. He never had a commanding lead. He won one debate, and it got a little close. But no one was really betting on this guy to win. So why would we panic now? Why all of a sudden do we wake up and decide to sell because the president is the president still? I think smart guys in the room, though, may have thought Obama was going to win. However, not by the margin that he won by. So now, does he have an economic mandate? Now, what Obama's saying now is Americans voted him in because they like his economic policies. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. I guess Santa Claus is in town because he's just giving away the farm. But here, moving forward, there's nothing that's going to be resolved with this fiscal cliff But mess. so what? It, it, we've been gridlocked forever, and to a degree, I'm playing devil's advocate, but yeah. you know, you're picking a fight with me, so you're coming on my side. I'm going to take the other side. Okay. We've been gridlocked for a million years. Yeah. It, it's since roughly the, the Whigs and the Federalists were going okay. at it. We've been gridlocked in one form or another. Why now? Why do I care just because we stuck a label on it? It's now the fiscal cliff instead of the debt ceiling. Hey, debate. Americans difference? Americans did not bring this on. I mean, let's be let's be honest here. It's yeah. about Congress. It's about raising the debt ceiling. It's the ability that we actually figured that they had to keep kicking the can down the road. They had to make some type of, of a uh, decision on not just spending cuts, and uh, but also tax increases. But now we are at the end of the road from kicking the can down the road, Jeff. Look, you can talk about all the conflicts that you want, but bottom line is this. You have a con you have a Congress right now that can't seem to work with the President of the United States. And there's a real issue here. The President of the United States is fully accountable for this. He's got to get these guys in a room, lock the doors, bring in some cold cuts and give them a calculator and tell them to figure this thing out. Because get this, it, December 14th is the final day before they go on holiday recess. You're going to tell me that they're going to be able to resolve $600 billion in cuts and increases by December 14th? Forget about so I think it. The crowded room locked door. I think J.P. Morgan, 1909 or something. Right? That's the way he solved one of the crises way back when. Why can't we do that? Why can't the president again? Almost anything would surprise the upside out of this group. Because these, these chuckleheads, almost anything, even the even the effort, even the president saying, you know what, I invited us all into the White House, I locked that sucker, I've got the Secret Service, and it turns out <laughs> that they're good at keeping people in as they are keeping people out. That would be a huge upside surprise. Why can't that happen? Oh, it could happen. However, it's not going to happen. Why is it that we keep hearing about negotiating and compromise for the GOP? When are the Democrats going to start compromising and negotiating and actually come to the table with a realistic solution? But you're, they you're don't. being part of the tax problem the there, rich, Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Richer villains. But everyone's got to compromise. I mean, the president, he doesn't have a mandate, but he, but he came out yesterday he was saying conciliatory sounding-ish things. Both sides got to give a little bit, and, and once both sides are willing to be miserable, then you have a deal. That's what a good deal is. Is it just that everyone's locked into position here? Is that what's different about no, this the, the, look at Look at the, the what we're talking about. The What their method is for the Democrats and what President Obama wants is he is not going to let the Bush tax cuts expire. No. We know that. However, then you have the GOP in the House that's saying, look, and Boehner saying, look, we are, we're not going to raise taxes. We're not going to cut taxes. We're not going to do anything on the rich here. You need the rich there. Look, if you want to penalize the rich, you are now, it's now you're getting a social disease in America. You don't want this that. No, you <laughs> do. for me to cut off a social yeah. these conversations, yeah. but so we're getting this cliff. Right. We, we're two guys who are stock guys. All right. How does that impact my portfolio? I mean, again, we, we started this okay. conversation with how come people aren't buying stocks, and we ended up with the cliff. We had the best intentions to just talk markets, and we ended up on this cliff. Are we so myopic? Are we so just as stock people focused on this well, thing that no one can buy any equities until we have some resolution? Two things. Two things. One, one companies are not going to hire no one that, with the overhead that they're going to face over the next few years with Obamacare. Number two, consumers are not going to spend money if they're taxed more. Number three, you're not going to have the small business owner that's going to look to expand. Number four, if you're growing Growing up in America, why do you want to become rich all of a sudden? Why do you want to put in an 80 hour a week? When you get up at 3 in the morning, Jeff, you should be hitting your head up against the wall saying, Why am I getting up so early? I should sleep in until 7 or 8 o'clock. Look, 
there's no reason right now to work hard and actually do something with your life to actually become a huge success. You're not going to, because if you are, you are the villain. And villains are meant for Batman and Spider-Man movies, not for America right now. And that's the problem. And then you have, that, and also, let me add to another yeah. thing here. President of the United States right now, he might say he wants compromise and everything. He doesn't want compromise. He wants it his way. He's like Burger King. He wants it his way. And here's the thing. Going forward, that get the GOP that's going to be screaming for this. What we need are Americans right now to go out, call their call their congressman or, or lady, and get out there. Or they should be rioting because i got to tell you, these paychecks are going to be shrinking in January. All right. Or call your broker and buy some stocks. We can't <laughs> even talk about the markets here without going off on an angry screed having to do with something with the government hamburger. Burger King, who knows what's going on? He's Todd Schoenberger. Maybe he knows what's going on. Maybe you do. Why don't you comment in the section below or drop me a tweet and tell me why you're not buying equities. <laughs>